What's wrong, dude? Oh, hey man, dude. I've been putting a lot of things in this. This, this sort of stuff. This is this. Yeah, this might have worked for our seven owners, but dude, look at the car. It's a, it's a Corvette. We're Corvette owners. We need to start acting like it. It's, I think it's time to grow up. Let's go to the store. I got an idea. Jared, it's all about appreciating the finer things in life. Oh yeah, that's that's it right there. Dude, you're kind of freaking me out, man. Jared, I, like I said earlier, it's it's time for us to be adults. What, what, be adults? What do you mean, dude? Look at the clothes, look at our lifestyle. We've been living this Peter Pan bullshit for way too long. No responsibility, sleeping as much as we want. It's, it's gotta come to an end. I mean, all you did was go out and buy an outfit. What do you mean? The outfit is only a piece of it. Let me, let me ask you this. How much money have you put towards your 401k this year? Tax deductible. I, 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 don't, I don't know what a 401k don't, those is. Those aren't just numbers and letters, Jarrett. We, we gotta grow up, we gotta mature. It's time we grow up, Jarrett. What do you mean, grow up? We own a Corvette, champ. You never call me champ. Things change. What are you doing? Hey, pal. Uh, feels really good, I'm not gonna lie. Those kids' clothes, out of here. <laughs> you look like a fucking tool. You. You, pal, you're onto something. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're the man! You are the man! Oh my god, I didn't just say when you are right, you are right, Derek! What the fuck? Dude, is yeah. that a... Is that a go... Dude, we gotta work on this car, dude. We have two weeks till You know LS. what? You might think that might be the most important thing right now, but I need to get two strokes off my golf game, and if that's not happening, this isn't happening, pal. You know what? Let me take you for a drive. You know, the real trick to diversifying your income right now is, oh, oh, it's you, Jared. Okay, let me tell you a little thing about Cars and Coffee, okay? Cars and Coffee is an event that if you're not up by 6 a.m., you are not getting a good parking spot. Who wants to go to get coffee and get look at cars at 6 a.m., <laughs> Jared, you might think that, but that's for kids and kids who smoke pot, okay? Kids who smoke pot don't go anywhere in life. And the real fact of the matter is, you get stuff done if you're up early, okay? And you know what? There is a magical little brown juice that makes all of this possible. It's actually called a cup of joe, and it will put some hair on your chest. I mean, look at how much coffee I've had, okay? <laughs> now there over there is one of our friends. We don't give him the two finger wave, but he is part of the GM family, okay? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Let me just get you a cup of joe in your mouth and you will understand everything. Who are you? Jared, you may have known me in my past life as Rob or Robert or Robbie. I am full-blown Bob. Depends on how you look at my retirement age, <laughs> I would be working for the rest of my life. Now, that's a common misconception that everybody likes to meet at Starbucks before the event. I will tell you this right now, you can't sleep on McDonald's. Their coffee, while cheaper, is definitely made from higher quality ingredients. It takes some sort of research and talking to your friends to really know what it's all about. Hello, how can I help you? Yes, can I have two of your finest cups of coffee? Two what, I'm sorry? Uh, coffee? Two large coffee? Yes, please. Any covered sugar? Oh, no. Just black, anything else for you? That'll do it. 429, that's the first one. I don't really like coffee, dude. Oh, you will after this one. You will. You got a lot of naysayers out there, Jarrett. It's all a little nice warm cup of coffee. It might be 90 degrees outside. Oh my goodness. But, oh, you taste that? Mm. Okay, thank you. You too. Thank you. You too, man. Okay, Jared, this is the moment where you become a man. Uh, granted, it's about 12 hours after you should be recommended to have this sort of coffee, but you know what? Chill. It's time. That is the nectar of the gods. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jared, I am ready to walk down rows of cars and appreciate every single Corvette that comes across. What about you, Cal? That's right, champ. Down the old hatch. This is fucking gross, dude. Let it simmer. Let it simmer. 
You feel that urge to go look at every Camaro possible? Hmm. That's actually pretty good, dude. Are you feeling it now? I think I'm feeling it now. Let me show you something. I've been waiting this moment for a long, long time. I mean, Bob, you wouldn't believe on the C3s, the fender liners are just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I installed cams on my C3 like last week. <sighs> she sounds mean. <laughs> oh. This guy yesterday said that he is the best, most foremost Corvette enthusiast, and I asked him, do you keep your build sheet in your back pocket? I don't think so. My Corvette delivered at the museum. I mean, I really appreciate that you have a C5, and I'm not much of a C5 guy myself, but I'm take, take you back a couple years, and you have those beautiful curves. I mean, you take it down the road, you, you restore, you got yourself a cruiser. <laughs> just uh, yesterday, little Smith's kids were just running across my front yard. I was like, hey, hey you guys need to get off my front yard. <laughs> uh, those little fuckers. Those little fuckers. Uh, you hear about that new heart medicine? Oh, yeah. S ticker, <laughs> gotta keep it going, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta be able to spend that retirement. My kids aren't getting shit. <laughs> oh, they're getting everything in the divorce. Besides the fact, I was just going down south uh, around 70 miles with my wife, and we're uh, we're getting pretty hungry, and this, she wants Taco Bell. And I was like, what the fuck, Carrie? I mean, we can get anything other than Taco Bell. We have chicken breast at home. <laughs> you know what, Jared? I've been saving these for a very, very important moment. You earned them. They are all yours. Okay, Jared, for good old time's sake, you gotta give them a click. I couldn't believe it, Bob. <laughs> oh no, Jared, you know the rule. Two clicks, make sure it works. <laughs> I of course knew that. <laughs> all right, Jared, well you definitely make a mean grilling dad, okay? Oh, shit, I gotta go work on the vet. <laughs> uh, you take care of yourself. Well, these clothes might be passable for LS Fest. You guys, the audience here, I know are men of finer taste, and I have something for you. This is, oh yes, a limited edition shirt we made for the simple fact of protesting every single one of these LS swaps and being so unoriginal that it's time to take back the 13B. That's right, we got this six shirt here. There's only 396. There were supposed to be 400, but we messed that up. <laughs> so we have 396, so they are actually legitimately limited edition. We got a sick Dom 26B arm sleeve hit. 26B, as many of you know what that means. And uh, there's gonna be two of those shortly, so there's a little hint there as well. Look at that, that's, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty frosty looking shirt there. So these will be up for sale on our site, probably right around the time of LS Fest, so another week at best, and uh, our goal is to support the unique swaps and bring the rotary back. Is that right? Otherwise, you're stuck wearing polos, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to have liver spots, polos, and sick Oakleys. <laughs>